This is an actual screenshot of a video doorbell accessed from about 3,000 miles away. Outsiders are not supposed to have access to the doorbell, but the security was so poor that Consumer Reports researchers were able to get it. It was all done as a part of Consumer Reports investigation into the security of video doorbells. We were really surprised to find that anyone could walk up to one of these doorbells and take it over in a matter of seconds and from there actually view screenshots of the doorbell potentially from thousands of miles away. Consumer Reports extensive security tests revealed a number of video doorbells that have serious security flaws that could make users vulnerable to a security breach. They all use the same mobile app called AWIT. The devices CR tested are sold under the brand names Ekin and Tuck, but we found the doorbells sold under many other brand names, including Fishbot, Rake Blue, Ando, Luckwoof, and more. Retailers like Amazon, Walmart, and Sears sell them. Your home is deeply personal and private. If someone is able to view your doorbell camera and see when you come and go, it presents a lot of security risks. For example, a abuser or a stalker could keep tabs on a victim and it could create a very dangerous situation. Experts blame the flood of cheap, insecure electronics from Chinese manufacturers being sold in the U.S. as a growing problem. We're seeing a lot of overseas manufacturers manufacturers create these obscure, cheap, no-name products and then flooding marketplaces here in the U.S. with them. Retailers do very little to vet these products and it's very easy to become a seller on one of these online marketplaces. Consumer Reports reached out to Ekin and Tuck but has not received a response. If you have a video doorbell that uses the mobile app AWIT and looks like the model shown in this report, Consumer Reports recommends you disconnect it from your home Wi-Fi and remove it from your door. Consumer Reports has evaluated video doorbells with much better security from brands including Logitech, Simply Safe, and Ring. Consumer Reports shared these findings with the Federal Trade Commission, which has the power to remove products like these from the marketplace. The agency declined to comment on what action it might take, noting that its investigations are private. By the way, I have a list of the products mentioned in this report just right here in the On Your Side section. Look for this story. Lisa. Thanks, Ashley.